Hello and welcome to today's Friday tip. And today we're going to be talking about phenidone. Now phenidone is a really good developing agent for black and white films. It's used in a lot of developers for films and for paper as well. Developed by Ilford back in the 40s, I believe. This chemical is excellent and you need very little of it to make your developers. However, there lies the problem. You can end up with phenidone sitting around for a long time and it slowly goes bad. You can tell when it's starting to go bad because it becomes harder and harder to dissolve into water. So what do I do about that? I dissolve my phenidone into propylene glycol. Propylene glycol is an organic solvent. It's pH neutral and it doesn't affect film developers. So it's the perfect thing to dissolve a developing agent in. What's more, propylene glycol does not absorb oxygen. So anything dissolved in it will keep for a very long time. So if I can get my phenidone into propylene glycol, I can then dish out my phenidone by using a syringe when I make my developers. It's the perfect thing to do. It's also very accurate. I've got a syringe here that measures to three milliliters. So I can go down to half a milliliter or one milliliter of my phenidone propylene glycol mixture. Now, how do I do that? Well, here I have an example. Uh, I use a 1% phenidone solution. What does that mean? And that means I dissolve one gram of phenidone into 100 milliliters of propylene glycol. To be precise, I actually dissolve it into slightly less and then top it up to 100 milliliters. So one gram of phenidone into 100 milliliters of propylene glycol. Now the easiest way to do that is to do it with the propylene glycol hot. So I put mine into a boiling water bath to get it up to temperature. It's probably around about 60 degrees centigrade. And then I add my phenidone and dissolve it in. Now let's have a look at that because I've actually got one gram of phenidone measured here. I measured it on the scales for accuracy. And I'm just gonna pop it into the propylene glycol. And down it goes. And I'm gonna hold this up so you can see how quickly this is gonna dissolve. This is a bit difficult to hold up actually. Let me see if I can put it on top of that there. There you go. So I very gently just stir it. And you can see it's already going into solution. A little bit of it left. It's very quick and very easy. Now once I've got this into solution, it will keep for a very long time. And I'm talking about years, not just months. So it's really a great way of keeping your phenidone alive. It's actually all in solution now. There we go. So I make that now up to 100 milliliters with a little bit more propylene glycol. Let it cool down a little bit and then I will top up this bottle. If I've made a 1% solution, one gram in 100 milliliters, then 10 mil of this solution is 0.1 grams of phenidone. So if I want to measure 0.01 grams of phenidone, I can, it's one milliliter. That's how accurate this can be. I hope that was an interesting tip for you today. I'd love you to get your phenidone and buy some of this propylene glycol. Easy to get online at any major supplier. Um, I got this on Amazon and I think it was six pounds 50 for a litre. It's very cheap and it's a superb chemical to have in the darkroom. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of uh, video and tip, please like and subscribe to my channel to get more of them. Thanks a lot and see you later.